Spin it back down. Yes. As you can see, the 900mm pop wing gets along in a small space just fine with fast enough flight to keep it exciting and also very cool slow flight potential. It's almost 36 inches in wingspan, so there's definitely enough wing area to carry some onboard cameras or even some smaller FPV equipment, which is a lot of fun. And being that it's made out of EPP, it's very easy to cut into, modify, and add on. The build is very easy. You'll see very shortly with the low parts count that building it is a snap. Let's see what's in the box. Bam! Two different color schemes available for the 36 inch pop wing. Three cell power, 20 amp ESC, 1260 KV, motor with a 7.5 APC prop. Everything you need comes provided with the ARF bundle, even electronics, servos, the motor, ESC, and all the hardware to get it done comes with the ARF bundle. The hinges are already done for you, and you can see so is the motor box. It's already been crafted. There's our 7.5 APC propeller, doublers, control horns, quick connects. We're going to go with our 1000 milliamp 3 cell Admiral. On this build, we're going to use CA. Make sure it's foam safe CA. We're using a mix of both the thick stuff and a little bit of the thinner stuff that wicks a little more. We've also used foam tack to do EPP builds as well. The CA is, gives you a little bit more of an immediate cure, whereas the foam tack, you might use CA to kind of tack weld it into position so things don't shift. Again, make sure it's foam safe CA. Put CA on one side of the mating surface, and then on the other side, you can use the kicker, press it together, and you are good to go. Now it's time to install the carbon spars. This process will be repeated on the top side in the very same way. You can embed them in ahead of time, and then CA over the top of them and kick it and forget it. Or you can go ahead and slather them up ahead of time and then embed them. Either way, the job gets done. We're going to slather ours up this time. Press it in. Do the top side the same as the bottom. All right, embed it in, and then do it again. Now it's time to install the motor mount. You can see at the forward part of the oval, there's a mark. That should be right on the center. There's also one on the back too. Make sure your center line lines up with the motor box and glue it flatly in place. You shouldn't see any gaps. Note how well that fits there on the aft edge. It's really nice how much of this they have prepared for you. The recess is already cut into the wing for the battery tray, which you can glue in with CA or any other EPP safe 
glue that you would like to use. Now we move on to our other recess, which is gonna house our ESC and receiver. There are slots already in the wing for these zip ties. Go ahead and prepare those and wait. Now you can use a servo tester and center them up now or bind them up and center them if you'd like. But the beauty of the way these go is they're so easy to get to, you could do it at a later time as well if you'd like. Feed your servo wire through, dry fit your servo. We'd like to go ahead and get our quick connects already on the servo arm as well. Now we've given the CA time to dry and we are going to screw the servo down to the plywood doubler. Awesome. Do the same thing for the other side. Straight back from the servo arm, you're gonna cut a slot just forward and a little bit aft of that spar that's in the control surface. Now you install your control horn, kick it, and forget it. Do the same thing for the other side. These control horns are, I think they're fiberglass. They really take the CA quite well. So we have our control rod through the quick connect but loose. Now figure out which side of the control horn do you want your Z-bin to go through first to give you a mechanical advantage in a straight line to your servo arm. Servos are at neutral note position of the servo arm that will give you travel that's equal in both directions. Do the same for the other side. Now grab your motor and install the X mount. Now screw the X mount to your motor board assembly. Now go ahead and plug in your motor to your ESC and make sure your motor is spinning the right way for your pusher prop. Check rotation with the prop off for safety. Now it's time to clean it up. We're gonna cut a slot and embed our servo wire in it and lead those wires right to our cavity for the electronics. Now find your breakaway adapter, and there's a flat spot on that shaft, and you screw down on it, and now you can use your O-ring to attach your 7.5 APC propeller. CA on the wing, kicker on the fence, B 
Bing bada bing. Nice. Same thing on the other side. How do you like me now? That completes the build portion for the 900 millimeter three cell power pop wing. Refer to your receiver and transmitter for instruction on how to accomplish your Elevon setup. This is a lot of fun. Let's see what you do with yours out of the field. We're gonna take ours out and we're gonna put some cameras on it. We got the run cam, uh, 36 inches. It's large enough to carry that. Also some FPV equipment, this thing can do it. So don't miss out on our flight review coming soon. So as always, thanks for watching. That concludes the build video of our 900 millimeter pop wing, available in two different schemes, made of highly durable EVP foam. This is a three cell power wing that's very capable of carrying run cam or some FPV equipment and is a lot of fun. You can fly it slow, you can fly it fast, it's aerobatic, it's a blast. Get yours at MotionRC.com. Thanks for watching, bye bye.